Hey everybody, welcome back to Backbone. Voice is a little, uh, a little loud there actually, isn't it? Let's maybe turn down the audio just a... Just a tad. Alright, so we are in the, the factory and we have to go find the, the mother of that missing girl. See if we can't do that here. Guard is sleeping on the job. That should be easy. Just gotta find Florence. What if I just sneak past? Even though he's, he's sleeping. All right. Oh, yep. I guess this is a sneaky, breaky portion here. Um, there's a worker. Gotta be careful. Yep. All right. We somehow got him to go that direction. I don't know what they're making here in the factory. Big rolls of something. Alright. Almost there. Alright, there we go. That's just another another sneaky section. Maybe we could just go back through the door, but we don't need to do that. Is there anything I can do to track this person? Maybe this is the person I want to talk to, actually. Oh, hello, Florence. Huh? You don't work here. Who are you? Uh, this will sound strange, but I'm a private investigator. I'm looking for the missing girls from the bite, or I'm looking for Rose. Look, I know this will sound strange, but I'm a private investigator, ma'am. Is that so? Leave me alone. Look, I spoke to Beverly Pam. I spoke to Samson. Rosie's gone. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I know. Um, How long has Rose been missing? How did she start at the bite? How did she meet Mai and Leslie? You know what? How long she been missing? 20 days. Look, you gotta go. The supervisor will be here any minute. Well, where do you live? Can I come talk to you later? Gray Tenements, across the road. Block 5. You wanna see Rosie's room? Actually, yes I would, thank you. Damn, fine. We can sneak out now, before the super is here. Let's go! Fire exit, quickly! What? Now? Okay! Alright, if you're just gonna quit your... Leave your job so we can go... At least you're much more helpful than the last people we've talked to. Alright. So, um... You know what? Are you sure you're okay with this, Florence? Hmm, feels weird. You seem honest. I'll try anything at this point. Yep, well, uh, can you tell me about your daughter? My baby girl was so sweet. Wrong. Always took care of her mama. She wanted the best for me, but... Go on... Nah, it's nothing. Okay, well, you know what? I'm not here to judge. It's, it's okay, Florence. She respected me, but she didn't want to follow in my footsteps. If I had done more for us, maybe, maybe. You know what? Uh, don't blame yourself. You didn't do anything wrong here, Florence. And we didn't always talk as much as we might have. I get so tired from work. She didn't want to burden me. Well, you know what? That's not your fault. So much more creative than me. Clever, too. Don't know where she got that from. Um, well, did she stay anywhere else? Like, she have any friends she slept over at or something? Nah, I mean, only some of the other girls' places. We didn't have much, but her room was special. She called it the Dream Palace. Always had a way with words. All right, well, I'll get looking. Please don't pull a sword on me. Okay, just put stuff back where you found it. I want to keep my baby girl's room tidy. All right, of course, Florence. Um, well, I, there's this thing that says here, you know, keep out. That's Rose's bedroom. What else can I interact with? I can look in the kitchen. Feel so familiar. If I turn on the lights, I could meet a friendly family of cockroaches. Um, Joe's apartment reference? Um, there's a bong on the floor, madam. S sad, empty face. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. Big yellow flower with thorns. Looks like a cheap decor piece you get at a supermarket. I can go into the bathroom for some reason. Uh, white petals. Small yellow center. The artist was a child, I hope. Alright, let's check out the bath bathroom. It is very dark. We got some potted plants. And a uh, shower. Neglected. Well, okay. 
That was a very uh, useless room to be in. Let's, uh, let's check out her room. Much cozier than the rest of the house. Uh, there's a bird here. As if Rose never went missing and is going to come home soon. Poor Florence. Well, I see a computer. See some posters on the wall. Monkey boys. A groovy. A bird. Rip. All right, let's check out the computer. Welcome, Rose. Enter your password. Uh, Rose? Um, Clarissa? Uh, password one, two, three? The well, this is unexpected. That exploded in your head. Password incorrect. Two attempts left. Uh, Keep I forgot my password. Password recovery initiated. Answer the following questions. Question number one. Favorite flower. Um, I need to look around. Alright, so this is where we have to find these hints. Okay, so there's a rose here. A book on flowers. Look up the yellow flower. It's a rose, of course. Typical sickle shaped hooks, etc., etc. Look up the white flower. Bellus perennius. It's kind of daisy. And then uh, there's a philod philodendron. Alright. Madam, what was her favorite kind of flower? Rose's terminal? Do you know the password? Nope. Never wanted to snoop. I don't know how to use those things anyway. What if I saw something? Yeah, um... Something like what, Florence? Like something that made me realize I didn't know her at all. You know what? There could be some vital clues in there. If she was going to leave a note, she'd have wrote one. Left it on the fridge or something. Well, you know what? Do you know the answers to the security questions? I don't know. Didn't see him. You know her favorite flower. Alright. Well, I can't interact with this one anymore. The truth of how we are but it was something about a white flower, I think, was the picture she made. And you know that um, this is not an issue. Daisy. It could be so Question number two. Favorite band. Well, I think that's the, uh, really loud. I think those are the monkey boys or whatever. Whoa. Everything is, uh, pretty down, so, but it's still, it's quite loud. Monkey boys? Katieri? She's the real shit, a true queen. Cuddle boys? Shit, Larry and I used to blast them in our dorm room. Ah, good times. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Um, the monkey boys? Incorrect, access denied. Well, I'll try again. Um, Gattieri? All right, there you go. Pet's name. I don't know the pet's name. What's your name, bird? What is your name? Rose! Rose! Ah. Um... You know what? You, you miss her, huh? You, Rose a birdie. Alright, um... I'm sure you're you're pretty too, and... What's your name, Mr. Bird? Boing! Um... Your name is Boing? Boing, boing, boing! You know what, um... Boing isn't isn't a name. Pretty bird. Uh, you know, if I knew your name, it would help me find Rose. Ignis, Ignis, go for the eyes. You know what? <laughs> uh, pleasure working with you, Ignis. Welcome back, Rose. Well, there we go. All right, we're in. Dying. 
Hold on, I gotta I gotta take a phone call here. All right, uh, a little bit of a pause there. Had to had to take a phone call, but uh, it's all good. Let's see what we have. We have a school folder, we have a work folder, and we have a secret folder. All right. Well, before, during, and after. Sometimes there is blood inside and outside of my body. I could wash it away, but today no water runs in the bathtub. It doesn't fill me. It doesn't touch my shoulders, my knees, or my thighs. I sit there silently, waiting, breathing, letting the air in. She's made of liquor, tears, empty envelopes, nothing in, in between. I am others. Okay. Today is Thursday. I'm sick of being bold and the way my voice breaks when I say a thing without meaning it. I used to sing in my head, but the theater is now full and the audience comes and goes. For instance, I never see the same face twice. Forgetting makes it easier, therefore, I remember the music, but not the lyrics. Okay, there is uh, more folders that are... more things that are appearing. Would you like to have some soup? Not really. I'd rather try the main course. The doctor says it's good for your imagination. Like that time when through slicing and grinding and chewing and speaking, the flesh speaks too, saying, I am, I am, I am. And then something called Leslie.txt. Leslie, I love you. I am taken by this newfound multifaceted moving force commanding me in all directions. There was a gaping void inside my body, an expanded space within, left empty, waiting to let in bigger things. Nothing escaped, and nothing gravitated around the hole. Just sat there, without desire, pronouncing the meaningless noise of existence. And then out of nowhere, love returned. It encompassed the whole of my being. What was once me now demanded a new definition, new borders, new coping mechanisms, I come up with new words, invent new ways to communicate with the widening world in front of my eyes that were once blind. Now I know. We spoke about our future and how it's impossible, but I found a way. Boss knows about us. She mentioned a scavenger that helps people like you and me. There's life beyond the wall and I want to live it with you. Let me know. I'm going to stay with you, whatever you decide. Okay, so someone named Leslie was involved here. Anything in the work folder? Okay, bunch of clients. Buster Carpenter. Frederick Muller. I'm not going to read all of these, but I guess if you want, you can, uh... Well, I, maybe I'll just skim them. VIP, a public liaison. So he's in security thug. Frederick Muller is an accountant. Um, he manages funds for science minister. Warren Wolf has been blacklisted. Science, Science City Family. Guy Slivers. He's a police chief. Ask Gina to try to track specifics about his relationships with the science minister. Doug Rogers. Well, clearly there's something going on here because we've been prompted about Project Artifact. Science minister. No, oh, Doug Rogers. Careful. Respectful of girls. Drinks only in moderation. Secretive. Enters through the back alleyway. Only ever request Leslie. Boss is a direct liaison. No one else allowed to speak with him. Seems to know Boss well. Leslie doesn't like talking about him. Leslie spilled. He mentioned Project Artifact once. And then shut down. Investigate. Okay, so she was like... She talks about investigation. She needs to track things down. Like, she clearly had something else going on here. There's a traffic minister, Bruce Vert. Lawyer Ian McFarrick. The head of biochemistry lab, Eddie Hung. Family man. Likes to get drunk and cry on a girl's shoulder. Seems terrified of science minister. Boss told us to keep him sweet. Seen Boss speaking directly to him when she thought he was alone. Um, thought they were alone. He looked depressed. Mentioned Project Artifact to baby Gina. That's twice now. Must be working with, on this with the minister. Clearly something exciting going down on Plant City. I need to tell Renee. And there's John Stokes. He's a treasurer. He's pretty smug. Came in with Muller a few times. Frederick Muller, who is 
Yeah, an accountant. The dream team. Rose Clemenko. It's me. Uh, angry lady with a big butt. Okay, Leslie is Leslie Fam. I gotcha. I forgot her first name. Baby Gina. Patient with men. Sweet girl. Sensitive. Leslie Fam. Smart. Close to my. Rumor she swings the other way. Okay, not, not really important here. Um, oh, well, it is important because now you we know that Rose and her are... Rose and Leslie are involved, so it is kind of important. My Louder. My needs coaching on how to handle clients. There's an operation going on. Rose had a system? It wasn't all Clarissa? I feel sick again. Sicky. Team. Hire attractive, loyal girls that know how to talk or make men talk. Start with factory clique. Click. Wider West End area. Offer good pay. No sex work. Just listening, flirting, and reporting to me. Boss has access to monkey butt supply. Helps loosen tongues. Mix 50-50 with hype to make addictive. 75-25 when hooked to make them spill. Never let girls try it. Sources. Create super exclusive VIP brand to attract the big boys. Reward with guaranteed access to their favorite girls. Make sure girl makes notes on dirt immediately after session for my eyes only. Okay, so uh, Rose was was calling the shots over here. Um, deadbeats. Boss will send up candidates. Get one or two special girls to get them hooked and find out if they've they'd ever be missed. Uh. NB, like note to bene, uh, note well. Write guidelines for girls. When we're sure, invite them to room two with the painting and call Sue's. And wall directions. Contact name Dio. Meet under the bridge on the 5th at 12. She'll take us beyond the wall. Password Daisy Bloom. No way. Did Rose and some other girls go over the wall? And then there's nothing in her school folder. Even though it says 15 kilobytes. Well, um, Rose was involved in some stuff. Hello, ma'am. Um, I think Rose has left and went over the wall, ma'am. Did you learn anything? Um, Rose learned something she wasn't supposed to. Sorry, there's a little bit of thunder here. Um, so, yeah, either Rose left voluntarily or she got removed because she knew too much about Project Artifact or whatever. Rose was playing a risky game. Rose was spying on customers at the bite. How'd you... You know, there were secret files hidden on her terminal. But now, why would she hide them? I don't know, I need more time to think. Your daughter was an ambitious, sensitive woman keeping tabs on bad people because it was blackmail material and plenty of it. You know, yes. Um, well, she was keeping tabs on bad people. Stupid girl. I told her. Smarts are trouble. You think she's still alive? I think she's gone into hiding. I believe so. I have to. I'd say the chances are low. I think she's gone into hiding. I think she's over the wall. Hiding? Where? For how long? Is she in danger? I don't know. I'm going to find out. Listen, when it's safe, she'll find you. You're her mother. Um, if she comes back or not, what's important is that she's safe. Yeah. Like, maybe she never comes back, but maybe she's safe where she is. She might not be safe here. Oh, Rosie. What'd you get yourself mixed up in? I'm so, so, mo I'm so sorry Mama couldn't protect you. You know what? If I uncover anything, I'll let you know, Florence. Alright, well, I guess we're just leaving. Sorry. Try to drop this bad news on you and then just peace out, but, uh, here we go. Hello, Renee. Come home, are you alright? Look, um, yeah, I'm okay. How about you, Renee? I'm doing well, I think. I'm excited to hear about what you found today. Well, uh, yeah, then, uh, let's talk the case. Start with the general primer. What's the connection between the girls? Uh, they all worked at the bite. That's a great find. How do you know? Why is that important? 
Rose used them for Clarissa because Rose Clemenko recruited them all. So, do we know something about Rose that sheds light on it all? She's Clarissa's right-hand woman for the VIP area. She's been gathering sensitive intel on guests. She's important to Clarissa. No, um, she's been gathering sensitive intel on guests for Clarissa. What kind of information was Rose able to collect? Um, bear with me. The Bite had two types of clients. The haves and the have-nots. Well, yeah, exactly. Lower class, no names that Clarissa knew. No one would miss. Uh, were killed off for their flesh. The rich ones were mined for blackmail material. Like the police chief and folks from client or Science City. There you go. It's an ingenious setup, to be fair. Poor ones, like no one, no one would miss, were slaughtered for flesh. Like Jeremy. Of course, fucking Clarissa. And don't leave me in suspense. Did you find any of the intel? Yeah, especially on a senior scientist named Eddie Hung. Okay, what's Eddie's deal? Both he and his minister's file mentioned Project Artifact. I think it's our next lead. What do you think it is? I have no idea. Eddie's a biochemist, that's all we know. Wait, but the same guy from the Science City report we found in the minister's file. Um, must be. Genes, proteins, biochemistry, checks out. We have to look into what this Project Artifact entails. Clearly, Clarissa is interested in it. You know what? Um... That's the deal. Did you learn what happened to the girls? I think they escaped beyond the wall. Fuck? How? Why? Someone named Dio smuggled them out. I'd like to ask this Dio some questions. Uh, sh same, but I've got no leads on them at all. Or could there really be something beyond the wall? I don't know what the, uh, the details of the wall is in this game, but... Uh, I suppose I suppose we'll find out eventually. Uh, got no leads on them. A lot to process. We need a new plan. We can do plans. We've always got a plan. Maybe we should lay low for a while. You know what? Um, we're catching up to the truth. We can't slow down now. Damn. There's still so much we don't know. You did great though, especially to not get killed. Feel bad for Florence having to live like that, not knowing. That asshole skunk was lucky I didn't kill him. You know what? I feel bad for Florence. We'll get her the answer she deserves. Anyway, let's talk next step. Finding Eddie Hung and learning about Project Artifact. Uh, well, I'm ready. You want to go over the facts? Get everything straight in your head? Um, sure. You know what? Um, what do we know about Clarissa? She's in cahoots with the science minister, loves spying on everyone, knows about Project Artifact. You think she knows about us? She doesn't trust the science minister, or what's her end game? Most likely, leveraging her relationship with the science minister to protect, protect her own influence and power. Alright, well let's talk about the missing girls. They got, out, they got out beyond the fucking wall? They were being used as spies and drug pushers? Life beyond the wall could be huge, Renee. You know what? We don't know what's beyond the wall. It could be huge, man. Hope they're alive and happy. Anyway, it's not the priority right now. You know what? Let's talk about Science City. Something important to the science ape and Clarissa is going down there. We need to see for ourselves. Maybe they found an alien. Biochemistry research. Could any hung be playing for both sides? You know what? I'm still going to go the alien route. You know, maybe they found an alien, Renee. Imagine. That'd be a real twist. Is it going to be a human? Did they find humans? Um, I'm done talking. Let's plan. You pay Eddie a visit at the Science City and find the answers. Then we'll get the word out. The rest is up to the general public. You know what? Um, how do I... How do I get into Science City? Just employ your usual charm. Oh, yeah, sure. Charm my way into a top secret lab. Sarcasm is noted and not appreciated. Just do whatever it takes. It'll be our biggest chance to corner Clarissa. Um, well, you know, you make it sound so simple. Fundamentally, it is. You're a good detective. You'll figure it out. Or we destroy Clarissa now. Or we could just live a normal life. Well, let's fucking go. That's the spirit. Uh, but I need to eat. Um, and sleep. Or after that, I take a break. After that, we take a break. Deal. Uh, but first we eat. 
I'll grab something at the bodega. Put your feet up until I'm back. You've earned it. For once. Hey, come on. For once. Um, who's, who's calling? Is it Clarissa Bloodworth? Yep. It's coming up. Uh, new chapter. Busy's probably back tomorrow. Bye. Put your feet up. Be back soon. Sure, sure, sure. All right. Let me guess. You're going to get murdered while you're out. I'm going to wake up and she's not going to have shown up and she's going to be dead outside. Check the window. Nice day. Maybe everything will be fine. Read the newspaper. That's not Renee. Shit. Yep, I knew it was going to be bad news. Hello, Mr. Rat Boy. Hello, Clarissa. Well, just uh, make yourself at home, ma'am. Well, aren't you going to offer me some tea? What kind of tea? Always had you down as a champagne girl, or... Ah, yes. Where, where are my mad manners? I'm sure you'll find them. First, tea. Well, come right up. I'll just snap her neck right now. I'm sure a raccoon can do that. Sir, can I, uh... Can I see your gun? Can can you show it to me? Can you can I hold it? Which cup should I pick? Ape of the Year mug? Renee mug? Simple red cup. You know what? Um let's just go with this simple red cup. She seems calm. Better keep her that way. <laughs> but how nice would it feel to hit her in the face? That is true. Important I stay composed. I know how to do this. I'm scared. Fuck. No reason to be. Worst thing that could happen is I'll die today. It's fine. Well, I hope Renee's okay. Gonna make me some tea here. Just, uh... Just hold on a minute, ma'am. I'm making it right now. You want one sugar? Any any cream? Any milk? No? I, th I thought I said a red cup. That's clearly blue. Oh, an interesting mug. I wonder where you got it. Um, I did not click the Ape of the Year competition. Uh, but the game obviously thought it. I'm pretty sure I didn't click that. Maybe I did. Maybe I was wrong. Um... In the Ape of the Year competition, obviously, which I won. Now, Howard Loter, this is going to be a very linear conversation. I ask questions and you answer, and remember, I know when you're lying. Is that clear? Um, well, yeah, it's pretty clear. Question number one, do you know why I'm here? You know what? You heard I brew a mean tea to kill me. I don't know. Are you here to kill me? Well, if she was here to kill me, she would have already killed me by now, so I don't know, Clarissa. I'll be disappointed if I have to do all the talking. Well, um... Let's talk. We're both professionals here, ma'am. You're a newbie private dick with a photography degree. Who hired you? Uh, nobody? The fine people of the city? Or me? I'm just the curious type. You know what? I'm just, It's just... Just trying to figure this out for myself. Curious about me? I'm flattered. What is her name? Oh, you're not making any sense. I don't know what you're talking about. How do you know it's a her? Look, um, I don't know what you're talking about, Clarissa. You're not cooperating, then you're not useful to me. It's not an ideal situation to be in, really. Might be deadly, even. You know what? Um, you know what? I'll. Ellen Abramson. I won't say anything. You know what? You already know you're here in her apartment, so like so I'll tell it to you straight. You said you already knew the truth, so her name's Renee Wilson. Good. If it's not, Suze will make you regret lying. Oh, Suze is the the rat? You know what? It's the truth as far as I know. Yes, so let's talk about what you know and what you found out. Um you know what? 
Sure, where, where do I start? Right after you snooped around my bar, coerced my shopkeeper, and spread rumors about me all over West End. Um, you know what? You nailed it. That's exactly what I did. Good boy. What else did you find? Give me the full picture of your sophisticated investigation. Um, looked into one of your buyers, too. Yep, I was at their house. My, you really are resourceful. So, the minister. What did you find? He's researching something big in the lab. He's a terrible taste in upholstery, or he's protecting you. Covering up for you. As expected. Do you understand why? To rule the entire city by himself, to expand his influence, he's scared of you. Probably he's scared of you, ma'am. Obviously, but I doubt that's all there is to it. Here's an offer. You work for me and find out the truth. And if I refuse? I know what working for you is like. It's not appealing. I can figure it out on my own if I wanted to. You know, what if I refuse, Clarissa? Then I would ask you to stop what you're doing right now. My plans do not account for a meddlesome, meddlesome raccoon boy. Unless he works for me, of course. You know what? I'm not your partner, Clarissa. Yet, give it time and think. Well, anything else I can help you with, ma'am? My final question. So much misguided effort spent pursuing only the shadow of the big picture. Why? Um, I don't know. I felt the need to do something. Someone has to stop you, or I need to know that people get what they deserve. And I urge you to think carefully about my offer and what you deserve. See you around, Mr. Loader. Send my, your mom my regards. You fucking piece of shit. Funny how the weakest of us are the angriest. Suze, say goodbye to Mr. Loader. Um. What? No! Guess, uh, guess we're dead. Alright, well, not dead. Fuck, fuck. Renee is not coming back. I gotta continue. Can't stop now. Um, alright, well, do I just take a nap? Just take a nap? Look at the cork board? What's outside the wall? Oh yeah, so I can find out about the wall, huh? No, it just says what's out there. So there's something around Vancouver that they're not letting us see and find out. Alright, let's call Anatoly. Anatoly, I need you to come get me. We need to go to Science City. Hello, Anatoly and his quick wheelies here. Hey, it's Howard. Oh no, sad voice. What happened, partner? You want me to get you some cocoa? Look, I need your help, Anatoly. Anything for you, friend. Tell me. Spill the beans. Fill up my cup with garbanzos. Let's go. I am here. Uh, can you pick me up tomorrow? Oh, yeah. What's the plan? Where are we heading? Uh, you know what? Science City. Whoa. Same place at nine, then? Yeah. And one more thing? Yes, buddy? Uh, get you some headache pills? Uh, can you, uh... Can you give me a gun? Oh, I'll see what I can do. You want to tell me what's up? Fuck. I'll, I, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Actually, you know what? I'll say thank you. Thank you. Bye. And uh, then it'll be time to end the episode. Yeah, Act 3, Artifact. So, it'll be a good time here to end this episode. So, uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it, and I uh, hope to see you again next time. <laughs>